China. You overthrew the legitimate Ukraine in 2014. Tell us about your plans for nuclear war with Russia. Stop provoking nuclear war with Russia. You're going to kill us with nuclear war. Russia is not the enemy. Stop getting us into nuclear war. Mr. President, there's more pe there's more people that are there's more people that are gonna get hurt if we go into nuclear war. Right now, we're on the verge of nuclear war thanks to, thanks to what you did in Ukraine in 2014. Why won't you tell the truth about what you did to overthrow Ukraine? Yeah, but we're on the right verge of nuclear war. war. Do, you, do you care about the lives of your supporters? Will you tell the truth before the world walks into world war? The, 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 coup, the coup of 2014 is on your doorstep. You were the one that allowed for radical My friends, you've seen this uh, about two minutes in which uh, people, honest people, are protesting against Obama. They're protesting in Detroit. That was the location, Detroit. Anti-war protesters. They uh, don't allow Obama to get away with it. And they say this... Uh, that uh, he was somehow behind uh, what happened in 2014 in Ukraine, the regime change. Yanukovych, I don't know if you remember, uh, probably many of you know what I'm talking about. President Yanukovych, uh, many are saying that he was removed because of uh, America's interference. I'm not going to comment on this channel if this is true or not, but I'm saying what many are saying. So these protesters as well, they bring this kind of accusation to Obama. And uh, uh, rightfully so, if you allow me to say it. Uh, because uh, when he was president two terms, he done a lot of things there that uh, he shouldn't have. Practically, he carried on with the warmongering politics of uh, George W. Bush. We, uh, George W. Bush, uh, by the way, had nothing to do with uh, what a true Republican is. A uh, warmonger, a liar. He caused so much distraction in uh, Iraq, all, all Middle East, and Obama carried on on the same line. He destroyed as well Middle East. Uh, he carried on with Libya. He was interfering in Syria as well. And uh, if people are saying that he interfered as well in um, in Ukraine, uh, don't blame me if uh, I don't find this very hard to believe. So these people are, were shouting what they feel about him. And obviously the biggest uh, fear that everybody has is uh, that somehow these politicians they try to push us into nuclear war. Who wants nuclear war? Nobody wants that. Let's just pray that uh, this is not going to be the case. Let's just pray right now. Father God, we pray that it's not going to be any nuclear war. There are so many that are not saved just yet. So, uh, Lord, 
allow us to carry on with this life on this earth a little bit more so many more will find out about you in the name of jesus we pray amen this is a short and impromptu prayer that i have in my heart that's not going to be in nuclear war so those people, they are right in what they're saying. It seems that the Democrat politician, they exaggerate this uh, conflict with Russia. <clears throat> and they want, somehow, <clears throat> they want war. We want all peaceful resolution. No war. There must be a way in which uh, peace must be made. But politicians are politicians, and they will um, always put the life of... Uh, uh, all of us, uh, not as a priority. If there is a list of one million things, probably in the list of these politicians, our life is somewhere at the very end. Again, I hope you understand and don't blame me for thinking like this. I probably you think the same if you are one of those that are awakened. But if you are one of those connected to the matrix, to the system, then you believe the lies of these people. After a short break, uh, that uh, there was no music. Uh, again, uh, what you're listening is Carl Casey from White Bat. Absolutely awesome music that I use it all the time. It's a music that uh, it feels like it opens the door to a new world, I could say. So I'm praying and I'm hoping that's not going to be a nuclear war. Obama didn't like when these people call him out, when these people uh, show the hypocrisy, not just of them, but the, the hypocrisy of all uh, the left, the, the hypocrisy of this Democrat Party that today became a party of uh, fat left commies, that they have nothing to do with God, they have nothing to do with common sense, they have nothing to do with the reason. No, no. All they embrace is... Um, Feelings, exacerbated feelings, all the embraces, um, the desire to make America and the rest of the world a socialist hellhole. Government that has uh, more power than they should. Government should be kept small. People that have less freedoms. Big brother controlling our lives. Censorship. And all those kind of things. And well, I lived in a socialist, communist country for 11 years of my life. I was born in that place, in the world in which I'm not going to say right now, but uh, somewhere in Eastern Europe. And uh, I experienced communism, even though I was only a child. Communism ended uh, in my country in 1989. At that time, I was 11. I, I remember. I remember, I truly remember how it was to live in socialism. Oh, Americans wake up, especially you that are American born. As legal immigrants, we know what we're talking about, but you, you seem to live in a parallel reality. You do not know nothing. So many of you, my American friends, you have to wake up. They read history. See, see what uh, socialism caused all over the world. Socialism never works. And, Nine out of ten cases, if not more than that, ninety-nine point ninety-nine percent cases, it will always transit morph into communism. It will always morph into dictatorship. It will always morph into a regime in which uh, few, even fewer, will hold the power while the rest will starve. If you think that the capitalism is wrong, just uh, give a, a chance to communism and. Uh, Communism, socialism, that's not so much a big of a difference. It's not so much of a big of a difference. And you will see how life is. God bless you all, friends. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope uh, you found uh, this uh, little uh, two minutes and so of video with Obama roasted by this anti-war protesters. You found it um, more than entertaining. You found it uh, interesting and uh, something that you can learn. God bless. Thank you so much. And if you love what I'm doing, smack the subscribe button. The music, I told you. Carl Casey from White Bat Audio. See you soon, friends.